Hey everyone, it's Vosk with the Vosk One YouTube channel, and today is all about the latest miner from Bicol Miner, the Bicol Miner Giant V. Today is about another ASIC miner. And to reiterate my point that I say in every ASIC miner video, I don't really care for ASIC miners, but I'm not going to ignore that whole sector of the mining community. So here I am with another ASIC miner review. This is the Bicol Miner Giant B. This is the latest and greatest miner from Bicol Miner. In addition to this miner, they also have the Bicol Miner X10, which is a very popular and potentially very profitable miner that's recently been released. The Giant B can mine five algorithms due to the FPGA chip inside of it. Those five algos would be Blake 256R14, Blake 256R8, Blake 2B, also known as Sciacoin, which is what the Ant Miner A3 can mine, which lately I've put out too much content on, to be honest. And then also Library, LBRY, and Pascal, because, you know, we got to be fancy here. Basically, with the release of Bitmain's Ant Miner A3, this miner really only has four algorithms because the Antminer A3 does 10 times the 80 giga hash the Giant B does on Blake 2B, which is Sidecoin. The A3 does 815 giga hash per second plus. Again, a ton of videos on that. However, this ASIC miner can do several other things and it was released first. Let's talk about the case. Pretty bare bones. We've got a fan on one side that's going to blow air through it. So that's actually an intake fan on the back. And then it's just going to exhaust. It's going to blow that cool air through the chips and just shoot out the open back. And if you've ever seen a Bico Miner before, it looks pretty reminiscent of, say, the Bico Miner Mini, which was actually my second video I ever uploaded to Boscoin when I kind of didn't totally know what the hell I was doing. Let's talk profitability. I was able to test two coins today. I had time for that. I, these are based off one hour, one hour each of mining. I mined Decred as well as library. I mine them both for a little bit over an hour to give me a true hour reading on there with a little bit more accurate scale. Decred uh, earned $57 and then library earned $67. So you see on average this miner, um, current date it's like January 28th and uh, it's doing about 60 bucks a day right now. So, you know, for whatever it's worth, it's, you're like, wow, that's really good, $60 a day, that's awesome. This miner is also, you know, going for anywhere between seven and 15 grand. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty expensive miner. I will say it's super energy efficient. Consuming between the 200 and 400 watts, that's not a lot of power to eat, eating up. So pretty good returns and very low uh, power consumption, but there's a hefty price tag going along with that. Setting up a Bicol Miner is always a breeze. I'll cover that more in my full review that's coming out next week. But basically, you're just going to log in with your IP and configure your pool. Click, click, and done. This is running off a server PSU, just a 750-watt Platinum that I purchased from uh, Parallel Miner. I'm an affiliate if you want to use my link below and support me there. If not, no big deal. Any ATX power supply will work as well, such as an EVGA 750-watt Platinum would be more than enough to... Um, carry you on this miner through any algo because based on what algorithm you're mining it's going to consume between 200 and 400 watts per bike miner stat sheet on their website which is a uh, crazy efficient really easy to build out a farm of these just uh one of the big, pr biggest problems people face are uh, power constraints you know i've only got 100 amps that's it well miners like this can help you make the most of that actual uh power usage. So like I said, Sidecoin is Blake 2B, basically off the table now with the A3. Blake 256R14 would be Decred. It's a proof of work and proof of stake. It's also a self-funding. So there's more to it than that, but uh, you know, check it out, see what you think. As far as the other ones, we have uh, LBYR, Library, and uh, you know, I'm gonna guess this library's the token off that. That's another interesting project. Most of these coins you'll actually notice were uh, to, you know, crypto that you could mine, dual mine with Ethereum. And all of the essential, essentially dual mineable coins on Ethereum have kind of gone off the table to ASICs recently, which is an interesting development. So you'll see people not realize that and get terrible returns on their dual mining, or you'll see that the Ethereum network hash rate is absolutely going to go up because they're going to turn off the dual mining, which is going to give them a higher hash rate on Ethereum. The most popular coin to mine on Blake 256R8 would be Vcash, basically a peer-to-peer -peer currency that boasts it's ready to go and ready to scale. So, um, you know, as always, that's a need here. Will that become the latest and greatest? Uh, the only time will tell, but they do take some cool pieces from several other projects. In addition to that, we have uh, our fancy Pascal, and you're not going to believe this, but it's Pascal coin. 
I went ahead and I grabbed my laptop to uh, read this to you because this one I've been doing research and stuff. This is one of the most funny descriptions I think I've found. So here it is, pascalcoin.org. Based on groundbreaking and a unique new idea in crypto, Pascal Coin pioneers a new tier of scalability suitable for planetary scale adoption. Planetary scale adoption. This is big. Planetary scale. Planetary scale. Planetary scale. I can't speak anymore. So it is the first and only cryptocurrency to have broken the 100 transactions per second barrier. It's like a freaking fighter jet. It's like, you know, Mach 1, Mach 2. We're breaking the sound barrier. We're breaking the transaction barrier by offering a simple account, numbers that can be associated to emails, company names, dot, dot, dot. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure if this is like a cryptocurrency or a movie trailer because I am freaking stoked. We're breaking the transaction barrier, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's like $2.50, another cheap crypto there. Uh, is this the best crypto ever? Time will tell. All right, so now we've uh, moved past the movie trailer, and I think I forgot to cover what library is. So it is a free, open uh, content sharing platform, basically, and it boasts the tagline of "You are the network." So you know, decentralized there, and uh, you know, there's always a place for that, and I definitely see utility there. So of course, that's why that uh, project will carry some value, not because I see value in it, but because that is a uh, a need that needs to be satisfied. All right, everyone, that's my initial review, unboxing, uh, profitability, whatever you want to call it, video on the Bico Miner Giant B. Uh, thanks to Bitwam of Bitwam Mart for even making this video possible for the simple fact that I was unable to source this miner from Bico or anywhere else, uh, you know, other than ridiculous eBay listings of like 20 freaking grand. It's insane. Uh, you know, that guy should go to jail. 20 grand for this miner? That's like, anyway, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, so thanks to him. Uh, check out his website. It's in the description. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for the full review on this coming next week to the channel. If it's been a week, well, uh, make sure to check out the review uh, on the channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what you're looking for in that. And I'm going to have a uh, setup tutorial on the Bicle Miner Giant B in that video. So again, thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'll be home.